Township night, this is your jam over here, okay? Because we're just asking. And the election is this Tuesday. Okay, so my whole thing, I was listening to Chris Gonzalez interview with the Lansing. So let's uh, let's bring it back in time. We're talking about mm -hmm. Tuesday's meeting. Let's bring it all the way back to the beginning of 2022. That is when former supervisor Frank Zuccarelli passes away and a a void of power exists now at the top of Thornton Township. Um, that results in a series of meetings um, among trustees, <coughs> excuse me, where you are tasked with appointing a new supervisor. And if that doesn't happen by a certain time, that's going to go to a town hall where then uh, the public is going to be Correct. appointing the new supervisor. Um, so if I recall, some of those meetings were a little bit contentious among trustees as mm -hmm. far as I remember you suggesting <clears throat> a number of names that were not seconded or not voted through. Mm, Some other correct. trustees were suggesting names that, that were not voted through. So it comes all the way down to 12 minutes before midnight <laughs> on the yes. legal deadline. This is, this is in March of 2022 now. And it was you who 12 minutes before midnight said, I nominate Tiffany Henyard. Mm -hmm. And that was the first name that was actually voted for by the rest mm -hmm. of the trustees. So then just a handful of minutes before midnight, Tiffany Henyard is sworn in as the supervisor of Thornton Township. Put us in Chris Gonzalez's mm -hmm. mind, 12 minutes before midnight. What was your thinking in nominating her after this long process? I mean, just as a whole, um, I just felt that um, I was hoping we could get somebody that was a little bit younger mm -hmm. for the role. Um, I felt it was time that we you know, may possibly, and I mean, I wasn't like honed in on that, but you know, that, um, you know, a woman, you know, I just thought mm -hmm. that that would be somebody, you know, that was a little bit younger, a woman. Um, so that's kind of where I was. Um, i be honest, I really didn't know at that time a whole lot of the, you know, that there was already some controversy and things like that a little bit that was going on in Dalton, Dalton you know, yeah. say. Sure. So I didn't really know about that. And that was also something that, I mean, obviously there, you know, just on the surface, there was a little bit of experience there. Mm. You know, she had been a trustee, you know, mm -hmm. just became mayor. Um, kind of a town that you might have had as a base as far as just like, you know, once again, coming from that there might be some experience and things like that there. Yeah. She went straight to Frank's office and, you know, oh. sat in the chair and, but, and, you know, but, and she just kept basically yelling, what are they going to think now? What are they going to say now? Speaking of the Dalton trustees, because oh. I guess, like I said, there was already a rift and I didn't know that. So I'm thinking in my, I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? And mm -hmm. then, so I went to Keith on the side and I said, what is she talking about? I said, is the board against her in Dalton? And he said, yeah. And I said, who? He's like, everybody. And he was like proud of it. And at that time, I mean, I already was like, what did I do? Like you said, the other part was going to a town hall meeting. Mm. And, you know, people have asked, and it, it wasn't the case that I didn't want the people to, um, you know, speak their voice. But a town hall meeting is very different than having, you know, a regular election. I think sure. that if it was something... All of y'all, I know y'all was together. I know that um, you couldn't come up with a unan unanimous decision. He brought up a lot of names and, you know... No one, they couldn't all agree until it got to Tiffany Henry. But you guys, as a conglomerate, if you will, nobody trusted each other to be the next township supervisor. And this one I need Stephanie Wendelman. Wiedemann. Also, also, can I throw her in there? I know she wasn't government, she was a chief of staff, I think. I know she wasn't like. Frank, 
But nobody said, you know what, Stephanie, you step up and become the next supervisor for the next four years because they were rushing because they didn't want the uh, state or the township to decide. They didn't want the township to decide. So they made a decision. My question is this and this only. Well, two questions. Did anybody know Frank was sick? Did anybody know that Frank Ziccarelli was sick? And did they not? Did he not say, you know what? If so, something happened to me, go ahead and put Jojo Siwa in my seat. I'm just throwing a name up there. Or, you know, if something happened to me, Stephanie, you already know, you've been my assistant, my chief of staff for 20 years. You know the whole background. You step up, okay? And let's say that's not the case with government over there in Thornton Township. Let's say that's not the case. It wasn't like, Chris Gonzalez, you was here before me. You know how the township work. Joyce, you the senior trustee. You know how the township work. Jerry, I've seen Jerry around South Suburban. I've seen him around Thornton Township, South Holland. Jerry Jones, oh, I think that's his last name, Jones. Um, Jerry, you've been around here 100 years. You can be the next supervisor. They didn't even trust themselves. That's my question. If I have it wrong... Correct me. Flyers all over town have been going out this weekend regarding Thornton Township literature. Literature, as a noted trustee, as an elected official, um, Chris Gonzalez's name is left off the literature, as well as his name is not on Thornton Township website. Also, the county assessor, her name is not on any of the literature that goes out to Thornton Township residents. So, you guys, I would like to know, Thornton Township, are you just effed and there's nothing you can do about it? As always, make sure you take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Blue. Commentary. Burgundy. Burgundy. Commentary. Com commentary. Blue. Commentary. Comment. Burgundy. Blue. Hey guys, I want to add, we do know that Trustee Joyce passed away after her election and Carmen Carlisle took her slot. I just want to make that clear. Also, if you would like more of these Thornton Townships and Dalton videos from Adult Night, please like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and all the ways to support your girl are below. Thank you. Bye.